Hey guys, a few days ago I got the AppConnect uh, feature activated in this car, but it only works with Android phones right now, with Android Auto feature, because, uh, because I still need to replace the USB port, which is over here. This is the new one, and here's the old one, which I need to take out and replace it with this one. And the thing is that uh, most likely Apple is using a hardware hardware key inside this port it's uh, just a different port than the stock one and we need to replace it in order to use carplay in this car here's the part number of the whole assembly and here's the part number of the usb port also if it's out of focus check the description below this video though there will be more details about those uh, ports where to buy them and which one to choose which one will uh, will work with which feature. Okay, so right now we need to remove the front cubby and remove the port, replace it, and we will check if the feature will work in this car. And now we have access to those two connectors. The upper one is for a um, 3.5 mm jack. The lower one is for USB. You can also see an LED which I, which I have added here to have some illumination inside this compartment. So most likely you will not have that. But right now let's disconnect this and this and uh, let's just connect the new one to check if it works. There's not a lot of wiring over here, but if you manage to flip it, flip the compartment upside down, you'll have much better access to the lock, which you need to press over here in order to disconnect, disconnect the USB port. Okay, at this point we can compare those two. You can see that the new one is larger. And also, I cannot just plug it in because, because this shape is different than this shape. And I should replace the wiring, but I have a multimeter over here. And once I confirm that the pinout is the same for those two, I will try to modify my existing wiring so it, so it connects over here. So I decided to risk it and as can you see I remove it, I cut out this positioning pin that was over here and right now I should be able to connect this to the green, uh, green port. Okay, all done, assembled back in the car and right now we are going to check it. We are pressing the menu, app connect we have three options for the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and MirrorLink. So first we are going to check if the Android Auto function still works. So let's use USB-C cable and over here I have Samsung S10. And in few seconds we should see that there's Android Auto function available. Okay, it works. And right now, let's remove this cable and let's use Lightning to check if the CarPlay is working correctly. And also, as can you see, CarPlay function is working is working correctly. I had to change uh, a single coding in the 
infotainment control unit um, because uh, previously the um, uh, the previous USB port was not recognized as uh, as Apple capable so after changing this coding everything works as it should everything except that right now in media source I don't have the option for USB drive I believe that this port or this firmware does not support both USB uh, media playback and USB CarPlay functionality so that's a little drawback but uh, I would I wouldn't be bothered with it to be honest because I have music on uh, um, SD card in the glove box also right now I can use just Spotify from one of those phones that I showed you so basically that's it and give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial check the description below this video for more details if you have some questions please ask in comments below and subscribe for future videos see you soon